Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about animal habitats. Does anybody know what a habitat is? So a habitat is the environment that animals live in. So there's different kinds of habitats. Today, we're going to be reading a story about one type of habitat. Can you take a guess? The ocean. So the ocean habitat. What animals do you think you might see in the ocean? What animals might live in the ocean habitat? You can pause the video and brainstorm. You can write some down, some of the names, whatever you think might live in the ocean. And then when you're ready, unpause the video and we'll start our story. Okay, so this is called Over in the Ocean in a Coral Reef by Marianne Burks and illustrated by Jeanette Canyon. Right, so the author writes the words and the illustrator draws all the pictures to go with the words. Okay, so let's see, over in the ocean in a coral reef. Let's see what animals we're gonna see in the ocean habitat. Over in the ocean, far away from the sun, lived a mother octopus and her octopus won. There's the baby. Squirt, said the mother. I squirt, said the one. So they squirted in the reef far away from the sun. This book also does something special when we read. So we're gonna read a couple of more pages and see if you catch on. Over in the ocean where the sea grasses grew, lived a mother parrotfish and her parrotfish, remember, two. Grind, said the mother, we grind, said the two. So they ground on the coral where the sea grasses grew. Does anybody notice anything yet about the book? It rhymes, right? It's gonna be a rhyming book. So we have grew and two. Those words rhyme, grew and two. Okay, let's go to the next page. What comes after number two? Number three. I bet you all know this animal from a really well-known movie. Over in the ocean in a sea anemone lived an old mother clownfish and her little clownfish, three, right? Three and anemone, they rhyme. Dart, said the mother, we dart, said the three. So they darted all around in a sea anemone. See the clownfish? Let's count the babies. One, two, three, right? Number three. What comes after number three? Number four. Over in the ocean on a sandy sea floor lived an old mother stingray and her little stingrays four. Stir, said the mother. We stir, said the four. So they stirred with their fins on a sandy sea floor. Yeah, they made like squiggly lines with their with their tails. What comes after number four? Number five, you got it. Over in the ocean where the scuba divers dive lived an old mother puffer fish and her puffer fish five. Right? Dive and five rhyme. Puff, said the mother, we puff said the five, so they puffed in and out where the scuba divers dive. Can you puff in and out like a puffer fish? See, that's why they're called puffer fish. They puff up. 
And there's number what? Number five. Over in the ocean, doing somersault tricks, lived an old mother dolphin and her little dolphins. Six, good. Jump, said the mother. We jump, said the six. So they jumped and they played doing somersault tricks. So six and tricks, they rhyme. And what number comes after six? This number here. Number seven. Over in the ocean in their sea fan heaven lived a mother angel fish and her little angels seven. Graze, said the mother. We graze, said the seven. So they lazed and they grazed in their sea fan heaven. So there's a lot of rhyming words there. We have heaven and seven and lazed and grazed. Right? And let's count the starfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's see, are there seven angelfish? Count those two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's kind of coming off the page. Over in the ocean, very streamlined and straight, lived a mother needlefish and her needlefish ate. Why do you think they're called needlefish? because they're kind of pointy like a needle, right? Skitter, said the mother. We skitter, said the eight. So they skittered through the water, very streamlined and straight. Number nine, over in the ocean, drifting in the yellow line, lives an old mother gruntfish and her little grunts, nine. Grunt, said the mother. We grunt said the nine. So they grunted and they kissed, drifting in a yellow line. And what comes after nine? Number 10. Over in the ocean in their turtle grass den lived an old father seahorse and his seahorses 10. Flutter, said the father. We flutter, said the ten. So they fluttered all around in their turtle grass den. See them all? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten baby seahorses. Over in the ocean where the sea creatures play while their parents were all resting, they up and swam away. Find us, said the children from ten to one. When you find all the creatures, then this rhyme is done. Okay, so. There's all the different creatures, right? So you have the octopus and the parrotfish and the clownfish, stingray, pufferfish. I forget this one. What number is that? Number six. So if I forgot which one that is, how can we find out? We have to go back into the book. So let's go back and find number six. Oh, how could I forget that one? What's that? A dolphin. So we have to find all the animals. So if you want, I'm gonna hold this up nice and close and you can pause the video just like that. And you can try to find all the different animals that live in the ocean habitat, okay? 
So I hope you enjoyed the story. And attached to the email that we sent, there's some virtual field trips that you can go on to an ocean habitat. You can also visit a rainforest habitat. And after you visit the habitats, you can even look at a forest, a jungle, a desert. You can Google that and watch something about that. And then we want you to create an animal and talk about the habitat that it lives in and give us one fact about the animal. Okay, so we're gonna do some art, some science, some research, all in one activity. We hope you have a lot of fun and that you learn more about animal homes and habitats. Bye.